Hello, I'm a gardener, and this video is about something you can do to actually improve your own health. Now, folks, being that I'm 80 years old, you know I'm doing all I can to stay as healthy as I can. And if I can do that with natural means or natural foods, then that's just all the better. And that's what this video is all about. Doing something for your health, using something that's natural that you can buy at the grocery store. Now, when I did this, uh, I noticed a positive result in just two days. And I'm asking you, if you do this, please come back here to this video and down in the comment section below, Tell me about your experience, your results with it, and what you think of it. Now, I plan to do this uh, once a month for about six months. And, of course, each time I do it, I'll do it the required four days, uh, four days straight uh, each month. And then I'll be able to see what's going on, you know, after some period of time. And leave a comment down here in the comments section for me, if you would. Even if it's a question, that's fine. I'm happy to talk to you about your question. Now, it is important that you do this four days consecutively in a row. So, schedule a time when you can, when you can do that. I am very interested in what your results are. So, if you do this, come back and put some comments down in the section below and tell me about it. The reason that you do this step at night is so you can let this set overnight in water. Now we're going to simmer this to make the raisins plump up and start releasing their juice. Soaking the raisins overnight helps to infuse their liquid into the water. To get the most benefit out of this drink, you want to do it on an empty stomach. So that's why I'm saying do it first thing in the morning. Now I'm going to heat this again just enough so that it's warm when I drink it. There's, you don't necessarily want to get it back too hot. I'm straining it because it is the liquid that we want, not the, the raisins themselves. Now notice I said it's about a cup. It doesn't matter if it's three-fourths of a cup because this is all going to depend on how dry the raisins were when you started. Now after you drink it, uh, give it about 30 minutes for your body to absorb it before you have your breakfast. So here is our 
raisin water. That's what it's called, raisin water. We don't, we don't have the raisins in it. So let me give it a taste. As you would expect, it's sweet. Okay. So we're not really drinking this for uh, like a like you would a cup of coffee. Uh, we just want to go ahead and, and drink it and get it down. We did wind up with a uh, with a cup full. Right, it's all gone. Now you need to wait 30 minutes before you have breakfast. This is another one of them continuing videos on health. Now if you like this video, and I appreciate it if you give it a, a like and uh, please subscribe. Uh, I do other videos on gardening, canning, cooking, and some of these videos here a little bit on health.